Suspension lifted. This video of a Sacramento principal being body slammed by a student last week. Now, some say the school district overreacted for suspending a teen who posted this video online. They are trying to uh, spin the story. Good evening. I'm Golston Dark. And I'm Edie Lambert. That fight at Florin High School broke out last week, and tonight some say the school violated that student's rights. And KCRA 3's Mike Lurie has been covering this story since it first broke. He's live for us at Florin High School right now with these new developments, Mike. That's right, Golston. Tiana Johnson is back here at Florin High School today, one day early from a three day suspension. Her cell phone video of the fight has gone viral, attracting interest of First Amendment advocates who say the school may have gone too far. At Florin High School, the student who shot this video showing Principal Don Ross getting body slammed to the ground was back in class today after she was initially suspended for three days. They stated that they're going to remove the uh, suspension off her record. Delia Orozco is Tiana Johnson's mom. She told us school officials let Tiana come back to class a day early after giving two explanations for why she was suspended. And it stated because she was on, she posted it on Facebook. Um, at the meeting, they had a secondary statement uh, as to why, and they stated it was a security issue. The Oak Grove School District wouldn't comment on camera today, but confirmed Tiana's suspension was trimmed by one day. They are trying to uh, spin the story. Jim Ewert is counsel for the California Newspaper Publishers Association. He told us if Tiana's suspension was for posting the video on social media, it would be a violation of her First Amendment rights of free speech. Shooting a video uh, and then posting it uh, is uh, protected by the Education Code section as well as the First Amendment. School district policy authorizes student suspensions for disrupting school activities or interfering with school officials performing their duties. But with cell phone videos showing campus disruptions becoming more common, there is a delicate balancing act for schools. Well, citizens have a right to know what government officials are doing, including a right to record government officials in public. But in the context of a school fight, UC Davis Law School professor Ash Bhagwat says there might be limitations. If, in fact, there was a real safety concern and they needed, the problem was that students weren't getting out of the way, which is, I gather, what school officials are now saying, of course we're going to give school officials broad discretion. Well, Tiana Johnson was not available for comment today. Her mom tells us, though, she's very glad and happy to have her back at school. Reporting live in Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. So we had that incident. You had that recent video in South Carolina showing a student getting dragged out of her chair by a police officer. Makes you wonder if we're more likely to see more of these videos in the future. That's right, Golston. I mean, cell phones are everywhere. Students have them, teachers have them, administrators have them. So it's likely that we'll see more confrontational, controversial type videos in the future, begging the fight between those who uh, want to advocate for public safety versus those who say the public's right to know should come first. All right, Mike, thanks.